A school superintendent remains in jail this morning. 47 year old Michael Stevens appeared in court moments ago. The Itasca ISD superintendent is charged with online solicitation of a minor after planning to travel here to Houston to have sex with a 15 year old girl. Itasca is in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Our Corley Peel was at that hearing this morning. She's joining us live outside the courthouse with why detectives believe this wasn't the only incident. Corley. Lisa, the details in this case are disturbing and during today's hearing officials say that Steven showed a pattern of this type of behavior and had continued interest in trying to reach out to underage girls. Itasca ISD Superintendent Michael Stevens faces a Harris County judge. Mr. Stevens, will you stand, please? Detectives began investigating the 47 year old married man in April. They say he began chatting with an undercover police officer on a social media app that allows users to remain anonymous. He's accused of sending graphic photos and messages and asked for inappropriate photos from what he thought was a 15 year old Houston girl. Some of the disturbing photos were taken while he was at work, according to detectives. He even planned to meet the fictitious teen in person. On several occasions, the defendant advised he wanted to meet the undercover persona for sex. He mentioned traveling to Houston during the summer, getting a hotel room. Detectives also found he tried to reach out to another undercover officer, posing as a different underage girl. The defendant, as recently as May 22nd, 2023, joined other teen groups on undisclosed applications, making contact with another undercover persona presenting as a 16 year old female. This press release announced Stevens as Itasca's ISD superintendent in 2022. It shows he previously worked at Palacios ISD outside of Houston. Investigators say he also worked as a coach and a principal for other school districts. The educational leader now charged with online solicitation of a minor. And Michael Stevens is being held in Harris County Jail on a $100,000 bond. He was one of several men that were arrested in a sting yesterday, and detectives encourage parents with any concerns to reach out to Harris County Precinct 1 because they do believe that there could be more victims. Now, Itasca ISD did not want to comment yesterday about Stevens' arrest. They say they're not going to be commenting any further until they have more information. Reporting live from downtown, Corley PLK. PRC 2 News. Corley, thank you for the latest.